Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with meteorologist Katie Suniga. Camera. We're looking to the northwest, but what I really want to pay attention to is more the northerly direction because that is where our air quality is the best. Once you get out to Prineville, you start getting down into the Bend area, all the way down to Sun River, out to Mount Bachelor, you are looking at the moderate range. And then when you continue down to Lapine, it has settled back into the unhealthy for sensitive groups and been there for several hours. Earlier, we were in the very unhealthy range. It's good to see it's clear up there but it's not really the best news because it just means at this point the smoke has moved on to somebody else and that would be the areas to our south. A fire weather warning if you remember we had one that started yesterday and that went all across central Oregon and then we got to last night and the area that's not colored in right here with that same purplish color that is where it expired by the time we got to 10 o'clock. We have this one now the rest of the region is until 10 o'clock tonight. We have two days based basically one and a half we go through Thursday and part of Friday we should be under no watches and warnings once we get to Friday afternoon not only the area that you are seeing here but all of Central Oregon will be in that fire weather watch until Saturday at 10 o'clock depending on how things goes that could be upgraded back into that fire weather warning now we're starting to see things really clear out we had those afternoon showers we saw the chance for them early this week didn't look as strong yesterday weren't sure that they were actually Actually going to happen but they did they got into the day and they decided they wanted to it did unfortunately bring some lightning with it and specifically out in the Ochocos area we had some firefighters responding to some lightning strikes there haven't heard any updates on that hopefully everything has been taken care of we'll let you know here's where our state temperatures are it's pretty good night tonight nothing too crazy hot we still made it into the 90s today not even with the clouds and that bit of rain did we stay back into the 80s not quite as warm but still still on the hot side and well above average. Winds are back down to single digits here out at the airports and we're expecting that the winds are going to stay calm at least for the next couple of days. It's Friday when things could pick up. As we watch this trough just gently drop over to here, we start to see this northwesterly wind. And then as we go into Friday, that shifts and we saw the winds pick up going into that by Saturday. That's when we could see things change and when that fire weather watch is in place. Here are the locations that you see the red spots. Those are the heat signatures and it's this one specifically that we've been getting the smoke from and this is what I was talking about. Even though we have seen our air quality increase in Lapine, it's not because it's being cleaned out by the rain or anything like that. It's because it is being pushed to the south with our winds as we go overnight tonight. Some pretty bad air quality 